Guatemala is a relatively poor, violent, and politically unstable country in Central America. Once the geographic core of Mayan civilization, which at its height dominated a large swath of Mesoamerica ranging from modern-day Mexico to El Salvador, Guatemala today is better known as an important way station in global drug trade and for a government so corrupt and lawless that hundreds of thousands of Guatemalans flee the country each year in search of better lives elsewhere. Apart from its much larger northern neighbor, Mexico, more Guatemalans attempted to cross into the U.S. in 2023 than any other nationality, almost 150,000 in total. Guatemala's presence stands in stark contrast to its history and unique geography. The Sierra Madre Mountains, an active volcanic chain that stretches from Mexico to El Salvador, is the modern core of the country. Most of Guatemala's almost 18 million people live in the highlands created by these mountains, which make building infrastructure difficult, but moderate the region's tropical climate. To the north is the relatively flat Paten region, today sparsely populated, but once the center of Mayan power. Lowlands facing the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans comprise Guatemala's other major geographic regions. Unlike neighbors El Salvador and Honduras, Guatemala has access to both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Relative to its neighbors, Guatemala appears better off. Aside from its geopolitically advantageous position, its GDP per capita is higher, crime is relatively lower, and its population is significantly larger. Guatemala is not an exporting powerhouse, but it does export several key niche commodities. It is, for example, the top world exporter of cardamom, the third largest exporter of bananas, and the seventh largest exporter of melons. Guatemala also grows excellent coffee. And yet, despite Guatemala's status as an upper middle income country and its stable and respectable 3.5% growth rate over the last decade, poverty and inequality are among the highest in the Latin American and Caribbean region. More than half of the population lives below the poverty line, comprised of underserved rural and indigenous populations employed largely by the informal sector. Guatemala is also one of the most violent countries in the world, with a per capita homicide rate greater than countries like El Salvador and Venezuela. And the corruption that comes with being at the center of cartel trafficking has stalked Guatemalan politics for decades. Guatemala's modern history has been dark and violent. Since achieving independence in 1841, Guatemala has suffered chronic political upheaval and civil conflict, while often being a target for outside powers. The United States, in particular, has played an ignominious role in Guatemala's history. In the early 20th century, the U.S. backed a series of Guatemalan dictators in return for economic concessions. In 1954, the CIA supported a coup d'etat that installed a military dictatorship at the expense of a democratically elected Guatemalan government, whose first president was Juan José Arevalo. What followed was a brutal civil war that lasted over three decades and resulted in the deaths of over 200,000 people, as well as a genocide of indigenous Mayans. Presidential elections held on August 20th, 2023, offer a rare glimmer of hope for Guatemala. In a shocking upset, Bernardo Arevalo, the son of the man who helped lead the Guatemalan revolution in 1944, won in a landslide, garnering 58% of the vote and prevailing in almost every Guatemalan department. Arevalo is not an ideological leader. He was elected on a message of change and fighting against corruption. Whether Arevalo will be allowed to govern and can overcome the significant political constraints, historical baggage, and inertia of Guatemala's past is uncertain. Truth be told, it is probably unlikely. Even so, for the first time since his father was in power, the Guatemalan people have expressed a strong desire for political change, and it is ultimately politics, not geography, which holds Guatemala back from achieving its true potential.